Hi everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Hope so you all are fine. So now in this lecture you will see about the global name resolution. So I will tell you about the global name resolution. So here you are seeing the diagram is showing here. So now this process is called a recursive process. So this is an application here. Application basically means you are using a system and now you are typing uit.edu.pk and now what happened is and now what happened is it's first generate request towards the local name server and now uh, these are some servers present here so first tell you about the root name server this is the main server the root name server you're saying and these are some naming servers okay dot pk and this is the edu.pk and then this is the last server uat.edu.pk where the address is present so this process like going forward and then moving backward this is called a recursion process recursion basically is known as, as a recursive process that continuously flows until you get the result so this close is like uh, this is application you are typing you are present here you are sitting here and on the machine you are typing the application uh, and on machine on web server on website you typed uit.edu.pk so now at first the request moves towards the local name server and then in local name server it finds out and moves towards the other servers and sees where this address is present so now at first it moved towards the root name server and where it say ip of uh, naming server in pk so it moves towards the pk server where the dot pk is present so uh, it then move backward and uh, it tells that the dot pk server is present here in the next server and you have to move towards that and again it moves there so this process is continuously moving like here it finds a dot pk server and finally it finds the dot pk and now the second thing is edu this is the second domain and now uh, what it happen is it then move back with this their ip of uh, uh, naming server in edu.pk it tells this to this local name server and local name server again reply back and move towards the uh, local na name server again moves towards the name server uh, the next name server which is edu.pk so two domains are completed and now it moves towards the UIT and this UIT is present in the next the uh, last name server and here it finds its address that is UIT.edu.pk and then it reply back its IP address and here is its IP address 152.66.248.44 and when it receive the IP address, it then reply back and tells you that IP address and then the uh, browser, the application and whatever you are opening will open. So this is the process of uh, recursive process you can say and this is the global name resolution and recursive process of the DNS. So here are some few points are present here. Yeah, we will see a single DNS reply may include several hostname IP address mapping. So these all are the mappings. So received information is cached by the name server. And these all are the name servers. Okay. These all are the name servers. And this is your local name server. You can find out hundreds of examples in on the Google. You can uh, go on and write it about this thing that I already told you uh, it's a recursive process of DNS server so this will help you out more and you will figure it out uh, it's on you how long you search and how much you search it's up to you so meet you in the next lecture Allah Hafiz